king of the scene. Tehran for Khosrow Khorshidi is much more than the place where he grew up and where he currently lives, more than the seat of historical buildings and architectural wonders. It's a place of mind, avenues rich of life, faces, and unmistakable atmosphere. A series of black and white sketches drawn by Khorshidi over the course of five decades, according to images and atmospheres vividly preserved in his memory, brings to us the feel of old Tehran from the 1930s onwards, a city in permanent evolution, but one that never loses its own historic and unique character. Khorshidi has drawn all of his sketches without using photos, merely resorting to his memory. The precision and skillful reproduction of their details stirred enthusiastic admiration by director Abbas Kiarostami, who got particularly amazed at the drawing of Mayak cinema from 1936. These artworks, some of which are displayed these days in a new exhibition at the residence of the Italian ambassador in Tehran, put together pieces of the city's history but also shed light on the genius of an inspired, curious, multi-talented artist. A multi-dimensional professional capable of reaching high peaks in fine arts, stage design, mural painting, sculpture, and architecture. Khosrow Khorshidi has always sought for the inner and impressive character of beauty beyond its ephemeral appearance. نقاشی، مجسم سازی شما گاهی وقتی نگاه میکنین به یک مجسمه باشکو مثل دیوید میکلانش واقعا میتونه اصلا یک صحنه باشه خودش بتنهای یک بادگیر ایرانی که در شهر یزده یا در شهرهای کبیری ما هست خودش یک معماری صحنه است و الهام میده به شما برای کارهای صحنه ای و شناخته Khorshidi's sculptures display a modern and abstract identity, but whose conception is rooted in classical sources of inspiration. His abstract paintings, recognizable by the use of warm and palpable colors, show at the same time an exquisite oriental and quintessentially Persian taste. His murals, sometimes combined with mirrors, convey a sense of hope and expectation for the future. His stage designs in theater, rising to the level of art's work by themselves, are an aesthetic reflection of the artist's complex sensibility.
Architecture as well ranks high in Horshidi's resume just by looking at the many residential villas he has designed and renovated over the years in Iran and in Italy. Horshidi's artistic career started in 1940 in Udlajan district, a historic neighborhood in central Tehran, where he moved from Hamidan, his birthplace, in 1932. During primary school, he became acquainted with the art of painting under the supervision of Master Mahmoud Olia, one of the students of Kamal al-Mulk, one of the most acclaimed Persian painters, particularly famous for portraits and landscapes and his innovations in style. In the early 1960s, his passion for architecture took him to Rome. Upon arrival, because of his deep interest in opera, his friends invited him to a performance of Puccini's Turando. The magnificence of the stage the red velvets throughout the theater hall, the magic and glamour of the lighting all captured his eager attention. He therefore decided to study stage design at the Academy of Fine Arts in Rome, an experience which influenced his thinking and made him discover and appreciate modern design. Horshidi's meeting with Viere Vagnetti, assistant to Franco Zeffirelli, one of the most famous Italian directors and stage designers was a consequential one. Vanietti gave Horshidi some of his own black and white sketches and asked him to redraw and paint the etudes according to his own personal taste. The results were impressive and led Horshidi to a successful cooperation with Franco Zeffirelli's decoration team. This marked the beginning of Horshidi's prolific work in stage design for Italian TV programs and movie sets. For me, it was always a great record of all that period I've lived in Italy sia di eh, culture italiano, sia di questo eh, un paese pieno di storico, sia di lingua. Per me lingua italiana è rimasta come un'arte. Roma è rimasta nel mio cuore eh, come il mio paese, la mia città a terra. When in 1969 Horshidi returned to Iran, he brought back precious technical knowledge and valuable experience. He began lecturing at the Faculty of Dramatic Arts of Tehran and later became professor of stage design at the Faculty of Fine Arts, University of Tehran. He also worked on theater scenic design, including several projects with famous Iranian director Samandarian. In 1978, the University of Tehran dispatched Horshidi for one and a half years to the USA, where he worked on stage design in famed institutions including the Metropolitan Opera in New York and the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. During his years in Iran, Horshidi held several important exhibitions. In 2001, the Italian Embassy in Tehran held with Horshidi at the Iranian Artists Forum in Tehran, the exhibition Teapot, Pitcher and Coffee Maker, featuring artworks of the Naples School of Architecture students. Horshidi was awarded with the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic Knighthood Decoration by the Italian Embassy in 2007. In 1999, the Tehran University's Faculty of Fine Arts declared the day of his birth, 26th of November, as Stage Design Day, 
in recognition of Horshidi's distinct role and efforts in developing the stage design arts in Iran. Today, at the age of 88, Khosrow Khorshidi can be considered as a truly outstanding artist. Through his unique mindset and understanding of fine arts, he has shown what an eclectic and talented artist can achieve in different fields, if he is ready to experiment, investigate, and find ways to express his own artistic genius in creative and ever-changing forms.